Dominion in Season 2 has been pretty rough so far. Roaming squads of ganking centurions move across the map and completely destroy your team. Gear scores don't really mean what they used to in 4v4 situations, and to top it all off, the best anti-gank stat, Revenge, has pretty much been nerfed into the ground and rendered almost useless since the end of Season 1. Anymore, the only way to seemingly even have a chance in this game mode, which is easily the most popular in the game, thanks to the sheer amount of steel and XP gain potential, is to group up with friends on mic and communicate like crazy. So, what is a solo player to do? Well, you can't always get a group of friends together, but you may still want to play without getting completely destroyed as you watch the gang squad pick off your teammates one by one, and they trickle back into the fight only to get killed again and again. Well, I've been wondering the same thing, and believe me, I'm not immune to any of the experiences you guys have had. It's frustrating to watch a 15 minute cutscene where your character gets killed over and over again, and instead of adding to the pages and pages of the Dominion Sucks posts on the For Honor subreddit, I decided that I was going to figure out a strategy, and it's simple really. There's a few very common sense things we can do as solo players that I don't see a lot of people doing. They get killed, they get salty, they blame their team, they yell at the other team, etc, and the cycle repeats itself, but it doesn't have to be this way. So with that being said, let's get into a few easy to follow tips that will help you win a lot more matches. You won't win them all because sometimes things just don't work out, but if you play smart, you'll have a much better chance. So let's kick it off with tip number one. Use the buddy system. I cannot stress this enough. Always try to stick with at least one teammate. Yes, I'm sure you're fantastic at the game and you've got a 99% win ratio in duels, but everyone dies to ganks eventually. Try to always be aware of where your teammates are so you can run to them if things turn south. Tip number two is don't be afraid to retreat. If you engage in a fight that isn't going your way or you see a fight coming that you know you can't win, follow step one and retreat to your teammates. Dominion isn't skirmish, it isn't elimination, it isn't duels or brawls. And sure, getting kills in this game mode contributes towards your overall score, but being alive to help your teammates hold a point helps a hell of a lot more than getting one kill, and here's why this works so well. Everyone that plays this game absolutely hates an opponent that runs from them. If they get salty about that and they're thirsty for the kill, they get massive tunnel vision and all they can think about is stabbing the shit out of you. They're gonna chase you right back to your team where you can finish them off, and now they've got to respawn, leaving their team at a numbers disadvantage. This brings us to our next tip, which is tip number three. Always try to have the numbers advantage in a fight. If you see a teammate fighting 1v1, join him and make it a 2v1. Secure the kill. I know that's not honorable, and people hate ganking, and it feels bad to some of you, but you've got to realize that the other team is more than likely going to do it to you without a second thought. So to reiterate, always try to have one more team member fighting than the enemy has. If you're at a numbers disadvantage, retreat. Go back to a defensible position. If the enemy runs to do the same, which they might if they're smart, refer to tip number four, which is don't chase. For the love of God, do not chase an enemy unless you are absolutely sure you can catch them with a ranged attack or you can close the distance. I can't tell you how many times I've run after an enemy thinking I can get the kill, then boom, two of his teammates come out of nowhere, and now I'm dead because my thirsty ass got ganked. Don't be like past me. It's not fun if you've ever played a MOBA. This is like MOBA rule number two right after don't feed, which you shouldn't do in this game either. On top of this, chasing an enemy takes you out of the fight with your team and leaves them at a disadvantage. Moving on though, let's take a look at tip number five, which is don't overextend. If you've got two points locked down, that is all you need to win. Don't be greedy and lose your home team advantage and source of healing just to potentially end the match quicker. If you can take all three points and hold them, that's fine, but that's usually only the case if the enemy team is playing very poorly, and even then, you can usually only hold them for a short amount of time. To add to that, always try to take points that are close together. Like for example, in the footage here on the shard, A and B are fairly close together and a lot easier to hold than A and C. Teammates can respond to gangs quicker, and you can run back and forth to help out whenever you're needed. And lastly, for tip number six, know when to regroup. Don't be a hero. You've seen it before, right? All those little circles of the plus in them appearing on your HUD? Yeah, those are dead teammates and you don't want to join them. In most cases, if your team is getting slaughtered, there probably isn't much you can do to turn the tide because with each teammate death, you become more and more on the bad end of the numbers advantage. Fall back to spawn, wait for your team to revive, group up, and try again. If you die, your team is going to suffer with staggered spawning, and you're just going to trickle in one by one or two by two to die over and over again. 
the same thing happens in skirmish all the time. Play smart. So that's about all I've got for you guys. I'm sure some of you have some other good tips to add as well, so don't be shy and share them with the rest of the class in the comments section. Everyone is tired of getting steamrolled in Dominion, and I hope this video at least helps some of you to live to fight another day. If it did, don't forget to leave a like to show your support, and get subscribed so that you never miss any For Honor content. Also, if you're struggling with the game in a general way, we're working on setting up a big sibling system in my Discord to help people on the respective console with their respective class. You can take advantage of that by joining my Discord using the link I've left in the description below. That is it for me today though, guys. Until next time, I've been Bows Phoenix. I'll see you at the next video. And as always, thank you so much for watching.